Hello, everyone. Part two of episode one. Um, I brought Sahim Ross with me. Um, really excited to have you on here. You, I'm going to say for you, I want to introduce you, let you introduce yourself. Right. But you play such an... Actually, let me do that. Introduce yourself. Sahim, thank you for being on the show. And if you want to just say say a little bit about yourself, and then if you want to say how we met, but go ahead. For sure. It's, it's nice to be here. Uh, so I'm Sahim Ross. Uncle Throw That on Instagram, if y'all don't know. Um, yeah, me and Hami met. I don't know if he noticed, but I met him like a, years ago. He had a basketball league, and um, during the league, I we never met or nothing like that, but I always seen him in the league, and one like a lot of my friends played in it. But uh, later on down the road, uh, my journey like led me to basketball videography. Right. So uh, naturally, we we hooked up. He's a basketball guy. I'm a videographer, so it kind of like it matched. Yeah. So I saw the need, and Rob, Rob Naylor, best friend for life, who was in that league, we saw the need with parents and people, and this is where the world is today, people want to document, you know, my mom and dad have old school photo albums of me, right? Right. You're the new photo album for parents, if you think about it, not just the highlight reels, but I think that you give parents the, they don't know it now, because I know you just started right, right, less right. than five years ago, but 20 years from now, parents are going to pull your stuff up. Right and say remember the leagues and the things Listen, less than that I, I was looking through like all the archives and stuff just finding like old footage and things like that from like 2016 and you see kids now that's in college but they were like three right. feet tall when i was looking at them i'm like wow that's crazy so, yeah like you said 20 years from now it's gonna be like damn i really remember that and yeah. like it's a that's really cool to capture those kind of moments what are your we talk about fitness health and mental health and and how it all kind of plays the same part when you see kids doing active things, does part of it is keeping them healthy, keeping them obviously off the streets and doing something more positive than getting in trouble? What does, and I, obviously your world is more basketball, but what what is it specifically about basketball and with the kids that you see? I don't know if I'm making sense with this question, but is there some correlation with what you do and some of the positive effects you see on the kids directly? So. I was always a mentor to mm -hmm. like kids because like as I was growing up, I had a pretty like tumultuous childhood. This to say the least, it was it was kind of crazy. So when I see a kid that like reminds me of myself, a lot of them like like go to sports because sports is a way that you can connect with friends. You right. you can find your your people in that like. So if your parents don't your community, you, yeah, you can find your own community that way, and you can stay like you said. It keeps you out of trouble, keeps you off the streets. And I didn't have that when I was young. I was like, I, it was it was crazy. So if I see any like kind of kid that kind of reminds me of myself then I kind of you see I take them under my wing and they like like I I do a whole yeah. bunch of stuff with them and and things like that so. when did you you give your camera you bring extra cameras right. and give kids thousand dollar equipment and I don't even know they can't even handle a basketball and you're right. giving them a camera and you're telling them to go get their friends right. when did that start and, and what's and you some of your shots come from that right right so again I'm not a, a big like uh I don't like what is the word I'm looking for? I don't like uh, cherish possessions right. and things like that. Like I, it's a camera, but I, I got it. It's expensive, sure, but I need it for my job. Right. That's just all it is to me is a tool. So if I can like spark the creativity in the kid, hey, oh, I took all these pictures. And I post the pictures that they took. Who knows? They might go to their mom. Hey, mom, right. can I get the cameras? That's three hundred bucks or whatever, whatever. And that might be the new. That might be the next guy. Yeah. He might be shooting NBA in a couple years. So you never know. You no, know, and you're very humble. One of the things we talked about when we started doing, you know, the AAUs together, and we saw the need for you to also get these kids. At the end of the day, they all want to play at the next, at another level. I won't even say a next level. Every kid wants to keep going up in a level. When did you? One of the things that I never forget, I was telling you, and you were like, "Oh yeah," when we were talking about doing some AAU programs and things like that. I'm telling you, hey, your previous video of this kid had. What was one of your biggest videos was what? It's, let's start there. What was one of your biggest viewed videos? Do you remember who who was it and what was the count? Uh, Bone Thailand, when he destroyed that Philly kid. Uh, actually, he's not just a random Philly kid. Right, the, right, the, right. The the second guy that he played in that video actually was a, a starting guard at Temple. Wow. Hasir Miller. Uh, you could look him up. He's a uh, he was he was young at the time, but yeah, that was my most viewed video. It was I think like three point something million views wow. on YouTube. And we were talking, and you and I never forget the way you just said that at the time to me. You were like, yes, at the time, it didn't have that much. I mean, it's grown now. Bones yeah. is obviously, obviously bigger than, but I remember you were like, oh, yeah, this has like a million views. Right. I was like, dude, <laughs> like, you're really, because you've gotten out of the following, how many followers are on Instagram? Uh, 
close to like five thousand. Yeah, seven, like so. all local, all Delaware basketball players right. know if you make Uncle Throwdat's page, right? You you you're something, That's a little something. Good. Yeah. Um, to me, I, like the Instagram and YouTube stuff, I don't really like get into social media and stuff like that. That's just a natural following. Sure. Just doing like just putting videos out there, and people just follow me from that. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not like a person that like goes out and like try to get followers or no. like, try to cheat the algorithm or do this or that. Just it's just natural growth. So like the video for Bones, I just put it on YouTube and right. it did its own thing. I didn't really do. It's just all this stuff is just coming naturally. Yeah. Just being in the right places. And I want to kind of, and we got to wrap it up. And and I wanted you on here again. I want to thank you. What you do for kids because you don't take a lot of the times what you're posting and where you're going is for your enjoyment and for the community, right? right? Um, obviously, parents can hire you, right. and if they want to document certain things, you'll be there for them. But most of it, I want to say almost ninety percent of your stuff is organic. But you are there, so I want to thank you for that. What are some of the last things maybe I didn't ask that you would like to share with the community and with people that know you? Um, that maybe I didn't mention, but again, I, I love what you do, and and if 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 we can on air and while we're doing to thank you, but yeah, please, what did what are, are we missing anything? I think my next steps are going to probably be starting a class, okay, uh, probably a video editing class or a photography class or something like that, just right. to get back, like just sort of like that, just to get back and like spark the creativity back in the community. Yeah, there's not a lot of that left. Uh, especially with the TikToks and everybody doing the same dances and doing the same type of thing. So we just going to try to spark that back in the community and see see where it goes from there. Nice. No, and again, what what you're doing, uh, you're wearing the check rack, all 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 your kids from the that you bring up and you draft them and yeah. you, you you're you know. Last thing I'll say, you know every player almost. You right. know their strengths. Right. You know their weaknesses. Right, right, right. You uh, let's end on a funny note. You have some segments you call keeping it honest and keeping it real. Yeah. You've also unfortunately have shown some people's worst moments on the court. You know, I tell people all the time, I didn't do it. <laughs> it just happened. The people got to see it. It ain't it ain't something that I did. I just posted it. I don't know. La this is my last question. I keep saying, do people? You know, they joke about when like a hot girl walks, you know, when guys are playing and a hot girl walks in and you change up a second. Do people change up when you walk into the gym? They play worse. Really? <laughs> you see it, they, right? Yeah, they'll hire, like, they'll have like a string of like 15, 20 point games. And they're like, yo, can you come to my game? I'm cooking, I'm killing. And I come and they get like four. And they, yeah, and they still, it's they, almost like a jinx. They foul out in the third quarter. It's ridiculous. But well, again, Sahim, what you're jinx. no, what you're doing. I I hope I've always, I've always said it to you. You're you've been a big part of the last ten years of our family's lives, and uh, don't stop. You know what I mean? Uh, selfishly, sure, I, I, I know that. it's 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 uh it's not like I said it's 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 not something you do for like any lucrative amounts of money or anything. Right. But if I can just tell you to keep going and doing it for it, because I. I see the impact, right. and I, I that's why I wanted to thank you on air. And Appreciate that. Th man. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. For sure. All right, everyone. Saheem Ross, follow Uncle Throwdat, um, and keep doing it. Thank you, Saheem. Thank you.